In this video, I want to show you how you can use ChatGPT to help you with your Power BI development. I'm going to show you how you can ask it natural questions to help you write things like DAX measures, calculated columns, or Power Query formulas. And we're also going to briefly explore how you can use it to accelerate your learning and understanding of these concepts. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand, and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So ChatGPT is a chatbot that was released sometime around November last year, and it essentially allows you to ask questions in a sort of natural language format. However, unlike other chatbots, underneath it uses a model trained to respond to questions in a very detailed and articulate way. I've had the opportunity to test this out during the weekend and I'm absolutely amazed at some of the things that it can do. So today I want to show you some of the things that it can do to help you in Power BI. So first of all, let's start with a blank Power BI report here and I want to get started first by importing a set of uh, data which I've prepared for you guys today. So I'm gonna go uh, get data from a CSV. I'm gonna find that CSV file in my desktop right here. And it's just a simple uh, table here with a list of all the IDs of uh, employees for a fictional company, their names, their hire dates and their leaving date. I'm going to transform this quickly just to make sure that their format is correct. So we're going to promote the first row as headers and then I'm going to highlight everything. Control A, hit transform and detect data type. This will change the data formats of each of these columns to what it should be. So hire dates and leaving dates should be date types as it is right here. So once I'm ready, I'm going to hit close and apply here. And that basically just imports the set of data for us into our Power BI model. So from here, what I want to do, for example, is I want to maybe start to calculate the attrition rates. And uh, to do this calculation, first of all, we need to generate ourselves a calendar table. Now I covered how to create your own calendar table in several ways in another video. However, in this video, I want to show you how you can create a calendar table in Power Query using ChatGPT. So let's get started with ChatGPT actually. So this is what ChatGPT looks like. So it will ask you to um, go and try ChatGPT. It will lead you to log in. And once you're logged in, you'll be presented with this text box um, and uh, these, this chat type box which allows you to ask it questions uh, which will we respond to in natural language so from here let's try to ask it the question right so um, let's say I want an M code in power query that generates a date table for me from 2020 to 2025 so what we've just done here is we've tried to provide a context for ChatGTP to create a date uh, or calendar table from. So it asks, so we ask it to create an M code in Power Query and we want the 2020 to 2025 range. This is just random, but the idea is that it should cover all the dates that we have in our hire dates and our leave date, which should be within this range. So if I hit enter here and let's see what it comes up with. So here we go, it's essentially generated an M code that we can simply copy and paste to create a calendar table in uh, Power BI. So if we hit copy here, I'm gonna go back to Power BI here, go back to our Power Query window right here. Let's create a blank query where we can paste this M code. So from here, advanced editor, 
And around here, we'll simply paste the code that it's generated for us, hit done, and there we go. It's generated a code for us for all of those dates. And it's generated in such a way that we can update and change the start date and end dates so that if you wanted a different range, you can simply just change these parameters. So if you wanted from 2019, hit enter, go back to the end of uh, our steps here, and it will generate those dates for you, which is pretty powerful. Now, if we go back to chat GPT here, from a learning perspective, it's pretty great. I mean, at the moment, it's just given us some, uh, some blurb here about what you can change in terms of the code itself. But for example, let's ask it, um, can you expand, explain to me uh, step by step this code? So here we go, it's generating a step-by-step -step explanation of this M query. So in case you're not familiar with M query and don't quite understand the how it works, it goes through step-by-step -step all of the elements that make up the code so that you can understand how it's built and how it's performing and creating the results that you want. So essentially it gives you a good explanation and helps you understand the context of the code and not a not just a simple copy and paste like you would normally do in random articles on the internet. So I'm gonna stop generating this for now because you get the idea, but you can try it out for yourself because ChatGPT is, is free. So we're gonna go back here into our Power BI report. I want to rename this into a calendar table. I'm gonna hit close and load. So we can load this into our model. And then I'm gonna quickly create a year month grouping for us here. So every month, year month. That's because I want to show the year month here like this as a table. So for every single month in chronological order. So from here, let's get back to what I actually wanted, which is to create a um, monthly attrition rate uh, index as a measure. Now we can write that and it's not a difficult thing because an attrition rate, if you're not familiar with it, is essentially just to calculate for every single month, how many people do you have active for that month against the number of people that have left that month. That's, that will be your attrition rate essentially. And we have all of that detail in this table that we've got here. We've got the hire date and the leaving dates. And we have the calendar table, which we are using for our time intelligence calculations. We just need the DAX measure to calculate the attrition rate. Now, I want to show you something really cool because ChatGPT can generate the DAX measure that you need for you. So let's go back to ChatGPT here. Since our data model is split into two different tables, we have the calendar table and the employees table. We want to give ChatGPT some context to work with. So I'm gonna write, I have a table of employees called employees. Each row in this table is a unique list of employees and it has a few columns such as ID, name, hire date, and leaving date. I think those are the column names that we have right here. Hire date, leaving date. Yep, exactly. I want a DAX measure that calculates my monthly attrition. So if I hit enter here, and let's see what chat GPT comes up with. So as you can see, it doesn't just generate the code for you. It breaks down what it's generated into understandable natural language format so that you can fully understand what the code actually does. So from here, let's just make this uh, simple. Let's just copy the code and I'm gonna create a new measure here. And then we're gonna just simply paste that code that is generated for us. 
So now without any relationship between the calendar and the employees table, let's just drag the measure. So as you can see, um, the chat GPT is not 100% accurate. So you can see obviously that it's um, created uh, or it's resulted into a wrong result here. You can see the attrition rate is the same for all these months. And that's because we are using the calendar table as a filter context for this measure, which this measure doesn't recognize at all. So you can see that it's checking the month today and year today as opposed to checking the calendar table itself. And that's our fault because we didn't give, or rather I didn't give the context for a calendar table. And this is one of the powers of ChatGPT is that you are able to actually correct or try to um, re-correct what the results are by giving ChatGPT more values or, or, or you know more context. So let's say this result is incorrect. I want to have a calendar table with a list of dates. I want the DAX measure to take this into account. Let's see what it comes up with. So as you can see, it's completed its uh, code here. And what it's doing, it's a little bit um, roundabout way of doing it. But essentially what it's doing is it's trying to get the number of uh, levers that you have against the number of active employees that you have. So this is a division between these two calculates. Now it's not that obvious and I probably wouldn't have done it this way. Um, so as I'm having a bit of trouble generating the result that I want uh, in ChatGPT. I'm gonna go back to one of the old chats that I had with it, which it generated me a good breakdown of how to calculate the monthly attrition. Um, so here, what you can see is it generated three different DAX measures for us. It generated a levers DAX measure. It generated an active uh, measure, calculating obviously the number of uh, active employees we had for the month and then we have the actual attrition calculation which is simply dividing the levers by the active so let's use this instead of uh, mocking about with the questions I'm gonna create another measure here be called levers it's generated us those uh, column names uh, because that's what I initially gave it. So I gave it some context about what the column names are and uh, which is a little bit different from what we have. So we had to change it slightly. But if you hit enter from here and let's drag this into our table here. Uh, let's remove attrition rate for now because we're gonna have to redo that. So it gives you the list of levers for each of those months, which is the first step to get the attrition rate. The second thing that we want to do is to get the number of active employees we had for each of those months. So we're just gonna copy the code right here. I'm gonna create a new measure and paste that code. And then once again, we'll just uh, swap these to use the actual table that we have. If we hit enter, active right here. And then finally, let's go back to that one and change the calculation that we have for attrition rate to use this instead. So that will be a pretty simple change. Just copy and paste. So the levers would be referencing our levers DAX measure. And then this one would be active like this. If you hit enter, put this into our table like this you are now able to get the attrition rate for each of those months. Uh, obviously, if we change it into a percentage, you will have your attrition rate based on the levers and the active employees for each of, uh, each of these months. Let's move on to another example here. Let's say we want to create a calculated column in DAX 
that calculates an employee's tenure, so how long they've been in the business for. So we have the hire dates right here, which we can use as a reference, and we want to calculate it against today. Now, the calculation for this is pretty simple, but I want to show you how you can do this with ChatGPT. So let's go back to our original chat here. And I'm gonna ask it, uh, I want a calculated column index that calculates an employee's tenure. If you hit enter, So here we go, same as before, it generates not just the code for us, but the explanation for its logic. And because we have given it some context about how our table and our data model is set up, it understands what, uh, what columns uh, are available for us to use. So that's why it's generated it like this. This second code takes into account if there are any employees that are currently employed by the business so which means anyone who hasn't got a leaving date um, this code will fail because it's pretty simple but this one th there's an if statement that checks if a person has left to check against today otherwise it calculates how long they've been in the business based on their leaving date and hire date so we'll use this one instead so we're gonna go back here i'm gonna do uh, create a new column and we'll just paste it right here. Let's hit enter and see what it comes up with. So here we go. So as you can see, it's generating us some values here that calculates the tenure in days between the hire date and the leaving date. Now, if they haven't got a leaving date, the calculation still stays. It doesn't return a blank but instead it calculates between or against the current day today, which is the 23rd of January. So that about wraps up some of the things that I've discovered uh, of how you can use ChatGPT to help you in Power BI. It's fairly new technology, so I'm sure uh, some of you guys have already found other interesting ways to utilize this tool, which I think is pretty revolutionary. I want to point out though that while ChatGPT is useful and can do a lot of these awesome things, it's not a replacement for learning the foundations of Power BI. It can generate things like DAX calculations and measures quite easily. That's partly because I know how to ask the right questions, which requires some, which requires some fundamental understanding of how Power BI works. I do think that it's a great tool that can help a great deal with learning and understanding though. Just the idea of getting a summary of how logic works in natural language and how it can explain concepts to you in the context of what you're working on and not something generic, it can really help you better understand the subject that you're, you're working on. And I really wish this was something that I had when I was first learning Power BI, as I'm sure it would have sped up my learning experience. And that's really it for this video. I hope this was a gentle introduction to ChatGPT for you, and I've hopefully given you some ideas on how you can use it with Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.